What's up, guys? It's Mr. Gagnon again. Um, this is our um, second video, Kinematics. We really haven't gotten into any of the meat and potatoes of this whole uh, this whole kinematics thing yet, um, but we've got to decide on a few things. Okay, so let's let's come up with a decision as a class. Um, we're going to come up with something called a, uh, a reference frame. Um, and all, all this does, guys, is nothing uh, crazy about it. It just says that there is a, uh, a y-axis, uh, an x-axis, and uh, a z-axis. Now, we're going to work separately. You know, I mean, physics exists, you know, up, down, sideways, and then in and out. So the Z represents like if I were to push something into the into the chalkboard or the, the whiteboard I'm using here. So we're going to use primarily the Y axis and the X axis and we're going to keep those separated. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's let's say this. Here's our uh, X axis. Okay, I'd like you to draw this in here. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll put a zero here, okay? The zero is called the origin. Okay, that's called the origin. And um, we're going to call this direction positive x-axis. We're going to call this direction negative x. So here's the idea. Uh, in math class, we defined... Um, you know, positives and negatives as absolutes. Now, if I wanted to, I could flip this little guy on its head and I could call um, X this way positive. I could, but I would have to call this way negative. So you've got to keep in mind in physics, it's a little different. We're deciding on a frame of reference, you know. So like, uh, for instance, if I drop a ball, okay, we're going to decide that down is negative. If I throw a ball up, we're going to decide that uh, up is positive. So let's look at y now. Okay, let's look at y. Okay, here's a uh, here's a number line. Here's the origin. Again, it doesn't have to be drawn perfectly. Uh, we're going to call down negative and up positive. Okay, we're going to call this y positive and y negative. Now, um, some physics texts get into some details and they decide that they're going to flip it around and call, you know, gravity. And anything goes down negative. Um, w yes, we're going to stick with that. We're going to say down negative, up positive. Uh, some people flip it around and they say that Y down is positive. Okay, that, if that's the case, then up's got to be negative. Um, so a little different than math, kind of like um, a little bit more... Uh, you know, wiggle room here, we can decide. And as a class, we're going to decide that right positive, left negative, up positive, down negative. So at any point, guys, uh, if you decide to take a look at the notes, let's say the, the videos um, that I'm producing here are not enough, uh, and you decide to take a look at the notes, um, there are little um, little corner pieces that you can click on and I'll actually bring the notes up so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so let's say you're looking at displacement and the very bottom left corner there's a, um, a little thing you can click on. Okay, and what that does is it leads you to a video um, of, uh, of more detail. So if, I, if what, what I'm giving you isn't enough, you can certainly go and get some more information. Okay, so uh, what we're looking at now is a term called displacement. Okay. Um, and what all this is is, um, is something that we look at as the uh, change in X position or the change in Y position. Okay, so um, let me give you a concrete example here <coughs> um, that will work for you. 
Okay. Okay, here, here, here's an X and a Y. We call a Cartesian plane. Okay, and let's say, okay, our origin is here. This is where we start. Um, okay. Okay, we start here, and we got to get here. All right, so... Um, Common sense will tell you, if I tell you that if you can only move left and right, okay, you're going to, you're going to go this way, three units, and you're going to go this way, three units. So the distance, now there's a difference between distance and displacement, is the three plus the three. Okay, which is 6. But the displacement is the straight line path from the beginning to the end. Okay, so if I take, and I were to be like a bird or something like that, and I could fly, I wouldn't fly like this and like this. I would fly from here directly to here. Okay, so the displacement is that length between the beginning and the end displacement okay and that's a straight line shot and if you took a little bit of uh you know geometry you could be able to tell what that displacement actually is based on the sizes of these okay we'll talk a little bit about that later okay um one more example if a bird flies 10 meters this way and then turns around and flies 5 meters this way, remember the displacement is from be the beginning to the end. Uh, distance is the 10 plus the 5. Displacement, okay, we got 10 to the right. 5 to the left, okay, 5 meters to the right. So what one, the right or the left? Well, the right won a little bit by about 5. So we ended up going from here to here. So our displacement is from here to here. Okay, so displacement's a bit different than distance, as we can see. So, as we're talking about displacement having a direction, um, there are some, um, some quantities, if you look at the notes, that are called vectors, and there are some quantities called scalars. Okay. So a scalar is um, just size, okay, just size. So like a scalar might be, um, example, might be like 10 meters or 20 meters a second or 50 miles per hour, okay? That's a scalar. It's just the size of it. It's not telling you anything about the direction or anything like that. Um, but if we have something called a vector, okay, this is size plus direction. So in, uh, in the real world, <laughs> we've got direction attached to pretty much everything we look at. You know, if I tell somebody, um, that I've got to drive to my house and I give them directions and I say, Hey, listen, why don't you just go? 20 miles and then 10 miles and then 6 miles. They're going to look at me like I have two heads because they are not getting the direction attached to it. So if I say go 10 miles and take a left, 